to go for Ezreal TK. You can take a long time to wait. I'm actually really, really partial to more aggressive farmers than uh, uh, Mundo catch. today. That was pretty yeah, thick. Yeah, Mundo was really good. I think it was a really great draft by Golden Guardians. They, they slotted a win there against TSM. Uh, again, partial Yasuo that we saw in the LEC a couple days ago. Uh, there's actually a lot of really nice champions out there, so we'll wait and see. I've been told um, Senna Gwen is also an option. Uh, haven't seen it, but that's what I've been told, so I'm curious if that comes out at some point here. Yeah, it's interesting too, because when you get these, these melee combinations, can you actually do enough poke damage with your Ezreal Karma uh, through a Tom Kedge setup? Because then you're working through gray health regeneration, because they're just backing off. Biscuits from both of them, as we saw last time around. Senna heals on top of that as well. Mm -hmm. With the Duran Shield start for the for the Tom Kench, it feels like it's not even worth it to do, yeah, it's not worth it to do the Karma Ezreal anymore, and they go with the cat instead. Okay. Much better scaling than the Karma. Yes. Uh, so they really heavily invest in late game with these two picks. Uh, Immortal showing that they do not want to go early with this one. They want to take it late game and get their win versus Dig there. Yeah, and I mean, Senna and Tom Kent on exactly an aggressive lane. She'd be happy to farm souls, cool, but uh, yeah, I think you are scaling it really, really well in the sport pick and the mid lane pick. Then to say, you know what, Gamsu, right away, get you on an RS we want for you here. Fair enough. Take All right, with if, the next you're, the bands, yeah. if you're blinding Nar here, uh, then it's easy mismatch solo lane pick. So what are you what are you trying to ban to protect him? Honestly, Aurelia to me uh, is something you have to ban against Revenge if you're picking Nar. It's kind of uh, kind of a slight if you don't because he has already played that counter matchup previously and. They're very willing, as shown by the draft, to go top side now. <laughs> you've got Corky in mid, and you've got a Yumi in the bottom side. So jungle pressure towards top would be well invested for Immortals. So probably want to ban out, you know, the kill threat counters to Nar, like Aurelia instead. Meanwhile, for Immortals, some of the mid laners here, anybody who can super abuse Corky early on, of course, your goal is always going to be to scale regardless. Right, of course. What if you can kind of play that arms race? We're not sure. Of course, Nar makes it a little bit less likely, but it has been pretty much all carries for Revenge. Two Gwens and a Fiora. All of those are gone. Obviously, the if, they don't, if they don't ban Aurelia, I want, it to, I want to see it thrown down. Okay. I, I really, really think they should. Since they've stated Revenge is our franchise player, yeah. we're building around him. Put, put your money where your mouth is. Put your champions where your mouth is. <laughs> Sure, well, he's got one Aurelia game played on the year. Not so much this split, but you could certainly try. Your magic damage is high enough. You can play physical damage top lane, no problem, right? Corky's there. Ed's I think it like already is, yeah. 30%, sure. right? Like, you're you're fine if the armor stack. You've got no MR for the Corky magic pen build. So, uh, yeah, can work out pretty reasonably. Viego going to be a jungle ban instead. The other acceptable top lane outcome for me would be if Immortals say, okay, now we're going to buy Disengage for our Corky Ezreal poke comp and then actually play it safe and pokey uh, and, and utilize the range. That's also acceptable, but way less cool. Well, Yasuo, we saw it earlier and didn't work so well, honestly, without much knockup synergy. So uh, you have Tom Kench and Nar as, I would say, fairly mediocre setup. Like, Nar can do it, but it's just so much yeah. less reliable. Gragas jungle, of course. Diana jungle, both options. And Tom Kench actually needs setup himself to land his own knockup. So, if you don't land a Q slow or someone else slows them, then it's actually very hard to, uh, especially late game when people have upgraded boots, to land those Ws. So I definitely agree those are oh! less than ideal. Hey, the crowd's a winner, though. Horn heard your cheers yes. in the previous game and has shown up here. So this is the second route, the peel, the structure for the late game. This is just Immortal saying, you know what? Let's uh, let's yeah. disagree to um, no fighting early game. Right. And yeah, no rush scale. twenty. Yeah, yeah. Who's played no rush twenty before? That is a very deep cut. Shout out Starcraft, the original. Lee Sin locked in as the one early game champion in this entire lineup here for Immortals. Otherwise, yes, scaling is going to be the look. Yeah, Gragas, Diana, Gragas, Diana. Which one do you like more? Do you want to do a bit more magic damage? Diana, do you want more frontline? Gragas, which one do you want to go for? Who knows? I want Gragas. Tom Cage is farming. He can be a frontline. Oh, actually, you know what I want is Diana, Sunfire, Demonic Embrace. Ooh. I've, I've been trying to promote Diana, Sunfire, <laughs> Demonic Embrace so heavily. Everyone knows. Dang. All right, well, the, I did say that Gragas is the one that I want because uh, yeah. I think it's it's way, way more repeatable uh, and you, yeah. you have a lot of early access to it. Yeah. Contracts just shouted out River, said he was going to run the game. Now you've got a uh, big, big combination here. 
with the Gragas Yasuo. Alrighty, and Kobe, I would like to point out that the champions are all in the rightful spots in the correct order. So Mark had come in during the previous game. Okay. I'd like to believe okay. that his essence remained to affect the next champion select. So thank you, Mark Z, for coming up during game four. Yeah. There is going to be no champ swap bug, which means, by the way, no silly games up here. Yeah. Sadly. So I would say Mark keeps his 100% bug deflection rates. Yeah. Because arriving just after the bug in the first game <laughs> doesn't count. But we are on to the rift here. Immortals versus Dignitas. Let's see who's going to make it happen. There we go. There's a confident fan. Yeah. Dignitas looking to get their first win on the board. And Immortal saying, if you want to do it, you better do it quickly because we get turbo scaling in every lane. Indeed. Now, earlier this week, Immortal's Revenge told us exactly what he thinks of his opponent in lane. Let's hear. I know somewhat of Gamsu's history, but I think he's definitely a weaker addition to the league. Um, I'll just prove that this week. And he'll prove it on Orn. Now, last time we saw Orn Nar, it was spicy. It certainly was. It was someday solo killing multiple times. Uh, I believe it was Licorice on the Gnar yep. uh, with some fancy moves, dodging so many boomerangs. It felt like Licorice could not land any of them on that quick moving Orn. So slender, you know, it's really yeah, yeah. <laughs> too I mean, tanky, man. He's lithe. <laughs> that man knows how to dodge some skill shots right there. An aggressive ward. Now that will not track. Well, it'll track invader roots, basically. That is a, a defensive trinket ward to know if something's gonna go on with you. Yeah, I have Raptor spicy. timer is super yeah. important for uh, for Gragas ganks. Yeah, uh, River but, here of yeah. course wants to get that early start. Uh, we mentioned last time uh, how critical it is if you can burn Corky's Flash early. Already a weak laner, uh, laner, and <laughs> you can actually take over a lot of the neutral objectives simply by putting that Corky on full defense. Black Ross and Neo try to build the lane into a freeze. If you leash for too long, you lose a CS, so they have to cut it relatively early to get there in time as they fight back and forth. And it's going to be, looks like Ezreal on for three CS. Tom Kench only on for two to drop uh, one of the melees. Not a huge deal, but worth tracking. Gomsu and Revenge are indeed dealing some damage back and forth to them. Nice two shots out there from Neo. Thank you for the soul. Want to note actually that it is a comment on the Yumi. So most commonly, I think you see airy for her. It means just simply mounting back onto someone is going yeah. to give them the airy shield because you've cast a sp friendly spell on them, right? It gives an airy, it's pretty useful. Uh, that's why you see like dismounts and remounts as like a defensive option, even without autoing. Uh, but going for comment is very, very much the poke build. It's like no, no, no. Actually, I need to be part of an AP carry. I want to get a bunch of damage. I'm probably projectile into Q. Uh, it is on average lower win rate, but if your style really is, no, 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 we're gonna win by poking and nothing else, then it fits that play style. Hi, River. Hello. Hello. Gunglers showing up here in our tri-lane view. Uh, love EQ. To you. If you wanted to, that could've been EQ flash, decent damage. Huey probably still could've flashed away, but you can reposition the, the you know, self whirlwind EQ flash if we wanted to go really hard. Probably yeah, I think I, you definitely wanna just hold on to your flash here, but I like it, Freak. I like where yes. your head's at. It's go for those forces yeah. early, baby. I mean, think about it. The earlier burn flash, uh -huh, the more uh -huh. flashes you get in a game. True. So you start true. the cooldown sooner. True. It's like buying a coal when your lane starts, so you can immediately start getting the gold out of it. And, and we did. That is the point where they want to attack here, for Dignitas, especially early on. Um, again, looking for any sort of chunks or cooldowns that can burn off of Corky. Um, 100 mana again on the Valkyrie every time you have to use it. So even when you're passing through, I always like to pass through Corky lanes when I'm going from red quadrant to blue quadrant uh, because it doesn't take a lot of time. And even burning 100 mana, forcing them back like that uh, is significant. Back core for the waves. Blue goes in for CS basically when he has the shield. You can kind of just absorb, you know, an auto and a Q and get your CS in a chunk and then get back out. Always keep moving, by the way. Yasuo builds flow by constantly being in action. So, you know, make sure you are uh, physically running around to get that shield back Marcus up to be up soon. Ken V gonna jump into range first. When's the wind wall coming down to block anything? There we go, gets rid of a bit more poke. Out he goes. Yeah, nice there. Huge value from the wind wall. Doesn't have to blow his flash or anything. Knows there's no actual kill pressure. It's just about how much damage he's gonna take as he's walking back to the turret. Uh, I, was, I was a little bit concerned because you can see he was hovering bottom the, the whole time, as you should, your jungler side on the crab. But right as River's recall finished is when the gank went through. Uh, and so that was definite 2v1 situation. Both junglers kind of evening up that mid lane pressure, though. Fair is fair. 
Nice drink of water as well, put down by, I believe, Revenge. Spotted that Krugs were being attacked. That's why I like it on the right-hand side. It helps you kind of track exactly which way Gragas is going. And so, okay, he's going back to Dunthor's Raptor. It's going to be another full clear. No big deal. I believe he saw the champion individually, so knew even his CS count. Uh, seven camps with that one gone. Nice knockup, but Revenge. Could he push back? We'll see how much of this farm he's allowed to get here. Um, would love to equalize at 38 apiece. Has more to farm, so should be able to do so. As, uh, you know, as our mind melt showed, the first forge has indeed been Doran's shield for Revenge here. He'll probably wait to get... He, if you really want to go defensive, you could go Warden's Mail. It is the best defensive option against Nar. But if you don't think you need that much more, you can just simply move towards your Sunfire item. Yeah, I, I definitely like the Bami Cinder. That's why last time around when we had this matchup, we set such a high bar with the Bami's Explosion is where our, our solo kill came from for the Orn or Someday. Uh, getting that extra bit of burst damage onto the Nar. Mm -hmm. And there he is. All right. Now... Well, he has very little mana um, and yeah. has not been able to go back for like a spell book into Ignite or anything. No, I think that turns on what, about six minutes, right about when ults come along. So, yeah. uh, you know, there's a chance, but yeah, can't even do a full combo. It's not going to be much. Meganar comes through, knocks down the wave. We'll see when Gons wants to come back to lane, but happy to lane right now on his Doran's Blade. Sorry's going back down as well. River on 42 CS, five camps in a ward or so. So if all goes according to plan for Immortals, we're going to get 20 more minutes of this level of right. pace. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Can be around. Now, River has Body Slam Flash to set up blue. Does not get spotted, but neither one actually does. Early spike. That's an easy take. We want to Body Slam Flash. No! Does blue it. didn't follow it through. Is. Did not press R. And now that's a nice rocket. Power of Evil gets the Scuttle Crap. Advantage Immortals. Advantage Immortals. The farming continues, baby. No flash on Gragas is actually huge for this combination. I mean, it's still definitely doable, especially when Gragas gets access to ultimate. You can still do it from range, but... Not gonna have that threat now. And Kenby didn't have to flash. Lee Sin slipped right out of there. Safeguard up the river. And continue on farming again. Immortals so happy with this pace of the game. But it's not really towards uh, the mid stages where Ding Tong can actually turn up the heat and start to force. Yeah, yeah. So right now, like he's like, okay, I'll get my farm like, yeah. as long as I keep my CS good against Corky because it's melee range matchup. Like we got a little bit to go, but you know, once he's on about an item and a half, that's I think a really like good power spike if you're you know mythical yeah. zeal or you get all the way to two items. Um, that is really where it's like this is his this is like the peak of his power level compared to other champions. And when you're really going to start to see Dignitas turn the pace, that's why I would like to see them find a way to their first Drake. They do have some gold, but starting Drake stacking helps you ensure that you're you're fighting like climactic fights before three items. Can he get the Q stop on the recall? That's my question. Look at the mini map. He did not get it. The recall goes through. River level six coming for a uh, possible combination here. Doesn't have flash again, so definitely a lot more risky there. Yeah. But Actually, kind of, I'm curious. Did you for sure see that the Body Slam did hit? Definitely hit Body Slam Flash. Okay, well, just didn't didn't follow through on the combo then. Didn't press. Yeah. I know Scuttle was like there as well, but I mean, yeah. there's a chance of my misremembering, but I'm pretty sure he actually hit the least in specifically. Well, it is going to be Shelly here, so that's a way to get that money, even if Immortals are trying to farm and are not going to extend anybody to get killed. Riff Rail taken without contest, because of course, Immortals want everything calm until the late game. River will pick that one up. Ken V, though, is level 6 too. True. And a chance at a 2v1 on the Yasuo, but not going to happen. Of course, they know Gragas has got to be at least nearby, considering they just killed Scuttle, or they killed Harold. He's got to be around for that one, so they don't go in for too much. Uh, no real aggression. Again, no need. Immortal's happy with a pretty slow place, but uh, Dignitas, looking at turret plates they have farmed, that count is zero. So it will just be the 300 gold charge. Money at least halfway towards the Gragas. Blue buff handoff and still happy with a very slow-paced one. There you go. I would also want Dig, uh, because all the lanes are so heavily uh, invested in scaling for Immortals, to try and force on a bit of an early dragon here. You, as soon as you get your recall from uh, Yasuo, as soon as Blue comes back with his zeal uh, and extra little bit of longsword damage, 
Start getting these cooldowns going, rotating through, so so you can put that pressure on Immortals. Right. Use every lever that you have in the game uh, to try and force a little bit earlier. Even though you do have Senna, which technically <laughs> scales infinitely, uh, Immortals have yeah. three lanes of super high values. So. Yeah, and games don't go to 97 minutes. <laughs> Aha, we'll, we'll, that sounds like a challenge. That sounds like a challenge. That we will fail. <laughs> games don't tend to go to 97 minutes, so the infinite scaling, though technically true, yeah. in practice, functionally never matters and you know Orn getting to craft three extra upgraded mythics which is probably average for Orn. yeah uh yeah really good power all right the heavy investment towards bottom actually gonna really hurt immortals because Dignitas just make that push right up mid guess what they're getting more than the expected value with this herald uh meanwhile the engage yeah looking pretty good right there you got a bit coming through from yumi able to keep them safe can be ultimately Kick, flash, goes to safety, River put his own ulti down, and now Dragon being attempted, and I don't know if Immortal's gonna even try, but Power People with Package may look for this. That was a really good force from Dig, though. They only used Gragas ultimate, and they got both Lee Sin and Yumi ultimate down. Two for one ulti trade as the Dragon is up. So now they're just backing off, respecting the package. Yeah. Gamsu briefly looked at mid and said, okay, back to top lane because Revenge pushing it down. Maybe the TP is available, so walks away from it. But now this means Immortals will actually Grab the first strike of the game. Let's rip something to say about it. Big smites are up on both sides. Flash available for Gragas is back here. And this could be a burst attempt. He's going to claim it. Nicely done. First strike on package across. Good damage. Neo puts on the shield. Gets shot first. Blood comes through to blue. And a safety for loss. So far, it's a Drake. It's a one for zero. And Nigenhaus looking for their first one of the LCS Summer Split. Your package will not save you, Immortals. Dignitas, show no fear. River, that confidence. He knows with the Gragas burst. You've got Barrel fermenting under the dragon, plus the body slam auto smite. Immediately takes the dragon and then goes right on to Kenvi. I believe he saved his uh, body slam from that combo. Actually, it was just the, the Q as well as the auto. And then at, right after dragon goes to the engage on to Kenvi. Uh, they pick up the extra kill for Yasuo and get their dragon too. So true to his word, River indeed are running this game early. So let's check. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just the Q and the empowered auto. And then he uses the body slam uh, with the flash. Yep. Oh, it's the... I think it got an auto by a loss. There it is. Gets the body slam, uh, flash uh, onto Kenvi. They get that combo. And then Biofrost, all he has to do, Tom Kench ultimate onto Neo. Make sure Senna's not in any danger. And Dinitas cruising right along, controlling the early objectives. Yeah, looking good to find that first Drake. They can keep on moving forward. And of course, Herald already charged the mid lane, which means that turret can die to second Herald, I think, with just the charge. Kenvi. Cask, ulti, a lot of damage, but it's in the fall of exhaust is on a kick award hop. He wants to live. One more shot would do him in. He's still gonna burn down. Thank you very much to the red smite. And it's gonna be another one on the board. Dignitas 2-0. At a boy, River. Let him have it. Windwall gonna get them safe passage right back here towards mid two. And this tower is so low with no jungle. You see Neo recalling actually coming mid instead. They're gonna take over the red buff. Kenvi gonna get punished even more. I'm gonna look into the bottom side. Is there a red buff to start Camps to Steal? Yes, there are. Dueling wards in the brush. PoE cannot finish that kill, but will be Raptors taken away as well. So gonna take a toss. Say, okay, we're not gonna get any more plates easily. PoE will wave through that. Yeah, we can get 400 damage in a turret, but we'd rather steal away 200 gold from your jungle and get you even farther behind Lee Sin. Yeah, I mean, these, these, this is my most hated style of comp ever, is the, we're gonna sack every lane, go turbo scaling for Immortals, all three lanes, and then it's up to the other team, you're like daring them. Okay, you can't grab enough off of the map yep. in time uh, for us to get to our ascended, you know, Orn handing out items to our turbo poke comp. Yep. Um, but it's Ding Tosh are saying, yes, we can! And they're doing just that. So it's really just a matter of how many turret plates, right. how many jungle camps. So you take away everything from Immortals. And of course, the problem was this opening was left open by Immortals themselves. Immortals were like, yeah, we're going to contest the dragon setup. Ooh, can be lost ult flash and Yumi ult. And then they went for dragon again, and they lost the dragon and the fight. It's like, what happened to sacking everything? Like, why not wait? And it, it, it gave some of that room for Dignitas because the second kill on Kenvi was because his flash was down. Um, all that, just, you know, stepping up for too much a little bit ago. Interestingly, that Trinket Ward actually spots some of that movement out, so uh, won't get any more there. But yeah, top lane just chilling. 11 CS difference in revenge. I mean, I, I suppose the 10 CS difference against Nara is good job. You're doing, you're doing well in lane. 
Yeah, pretty calm up there. Our expectations are set so high from yesterday. From Sunday, with three yeah. solo kills before six and a half minutes. Yeah. That was definitely uh, the most exciting ever. River, though, continues to take away. Jungle camp after jungle camp. This would also be a good game for some abnormal stats of, uh, you know, how much time River spends in the opponent jungle. How many of these camps is he stealing away? Because it's most of them as well as all the neutrals. Uh, yeah. Can be trying to pick up the scraps there. Does get the Gromp at least and come to huddle with revenge. I remember a stat from 2014 Worlds, which was um, Dandy, the uh, jungler for Samsung White, which was uh, like... 33% of the time, when he kills a red buff, it's the enemy red buff across the world. It's like, he is, he's aggressive that often. That's right. how much he's stealing away. This is what we talked about when casting LCS games without kills, is stats from eight years ago. <laughs> and I remember that one for some reason. All right, what about this dragon, baby? 40 seconds. Ooh. And the package, you can delay and actually sync up package again. If Immortals feel like round two, if they get package in time, and they actually have their ultis ready for the fight. Born now, level 11, does have teleport to join. Is walking out mid lane, baby. That's a good sign, Freak. Ooh, here Ultimate's we go. Ultimate's ready. They want a dragon to their name. 2.4k gold laid here for Dignitas, though. And Gamsu himself yep. charging up that Nar bar on the top side of the map. Current pace of the game is a 26-minute soul. If Dignitas were to get them unopposed instantly every time. Gamsu transforms a little early, but... Should be fine. Now, it is Unleashed Teleport. It's a ping in the fact that his wave's been knocked into the tower, and Yumi is in base right now, and Yumi falls any of that, so it's going to be the Drake uncontested. Immortal saying, okay, we're going to wait for a bit longer, and again, 26 minutes is the point where it's like, you better start team fighting, or that's just going to be a Hextech soul making it tough for you to do anything. Yeah, that was not a joke at the beginning of the game. When I said they want 20 more of this, uh, yeah. you know, nothing happening. Yeah. It's exactly what they want. And Dignitas will try and take as Those much towers. as they can. Take from them everything, Dig. Make them pay. Shelly on the bottom side. Tower number one. They'd love to get number two here. Still have three members. Oh, they're already pulling off members. All right, it's just going to be uh, left to die there as Revenge executes Shelly. Yeah, they're valuing the charge at uh, lower than, um, you know, making sure they're ready to go for mid-wave and not losing any gold or damage there. So, okay, fine. Digitas, though, sitting on a very healthy, nearly 4,000 gold lead. Honestly, um, th the pacing here feels this is Digitas added. favored, yeah, right? This like, this, this, is, this is, you know, above expectation of these comps facing. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely say there's a, a large, like, maybe a 2K-ish would be what you kind of expect when it's, yeah. it's turbo scaling, all losing lanes for immortals here if they like perfectly, you know, defend and, and don't give up the extra, you know, kill around dragon and sure. extra priority that they gave there. Um, but uh, it, we are going to constantly be cautioning against the timer here for immortals as they continue to scale up. Uh, Corky now relegated up to the top side as Lost and Ignar have come mid. Uh, trying to rotate now that the bottom tower is down and keep up the scaling there of their poke. And I gotta say, Blue, 100 KP and 12 CS a minute. Like, that is really good. Uh, so, massive credit to him for, for just being so ahead of the curve uh, item-wise. Like, you kind of can't earn more gold now without being spoon-fed just like a train of enemy champions. And the Yasuo is critical to this composition here. This dig composition, they have to get um, you know, the all-in with this team. Yeah, it's easy with, you know, Gragas and Yasuo to make sure you can get an all-in, but um, not messing up one of these dives. If you do mess up one, one of them and give a big chunk of money over to Immortals, that accelerates their scaling and gets them to their break points here. So, Dig do need Blue to, to be a very fed member of the team, to have that threat for the all-in. And Kenby actually maybe wants to make him pay. There's no deep vision for Dig and Toss, so they have to be a little bit careful with their split pushing. Oh, look at him, though. And Kenby's behind him. He's got ulti. He's got flash. Lands onto a minion. They're not going to be enough there. And Blue's like, nah, you're not going to get me. Gets even the can at the very end. There was a tornado. And mid lane under fire. Almost enough damage. Won't be quite enough as the wave goes down. Dig and Toss about to be 3-0 on turrets. Even away from their third dragon at the 21-minute mark. Oh, they're actually calling both split pushers back here for Dig to make sure they get this mid tower without Lost just exposing die. anyone. So it's an easy push. You just win wall, finish down the tower, and uh, no, no blood loss. 
we go four and a half thousand now FTX gold advantage looking pretty good here for Dignitas Immortals hoping to find the way back in it's just okay who can play on the side lane get the farm up good CS for power people oh too. here we go freak we oh. got our first break point our 20 minute mark double Muramana transformation mythics also done for Ezreal and Corky uh, where our 20 minutes of waiting have paid off for Immortals. Two item power spikes for both poke champions. Huge. The expected pathway through this game for Immortals is, is starting to come to fruition. Level 13 here for Revenge, so he's about to start blinging out the rest of the team. We'll be able to get to his item shortly. Yep, currently on TP Ghost, one minute away from the third Drake of the game. and. Unsure if mortals will want to play for it. For now, they're safe enough playing for these waves. I think Yumi is going to almost every single team fight permanently be on the Corky. I think that is the primary carry of this comp. He's got the most farm, got yep. the most XP. Especially while you're just throwing out Rocker, though. TP flank. This is the play. Looking for it. When's the cast coming across? A flash away to safety. Health bar's a bit low. Neo low. Into the wall they go. And Lost is going to lose his life. And how about retreating, though? What else can even happen? Because Immortals. Dared to look at mid lane and Dignitas punished him for it. Exactly. This is a Dignitas branded Summoner's Rift, okay? Immortals sold it to them at the cost of their champion select. <laughs> the first 20, probably even 30 minutes of this game, and Dignitas correctly wiped them off of the Dignitas Rift. Dragon will be up here. 17 seconds with 9 seconds left on loss, so Immortals get another chance. Sure. Survival of Ezreal, they can get back out here and try and poke. Yeah. This time around, there won't be a flash for Gamsu or a teleport for the flank. So round two, they can eliminate one of the flankers, but River is what you got to worry about here. Flash on Gragas is still ready, so they can make another attempt at the play. Yasuo combination is there. No ulti on short notice. Yes, Revenge could go Back for an in. engage. Gamsu's going to take some decent damage here. He's got to respect it. Still many Nar, only half a bar. This could be a push, but you got to go. I feel like pretty fast here. River over the wall. They've if got... you get this, you delay Dragon Soul by five minutes. River's just going to go for the flip steal. He's got confidence. Okay. Cask up now. This could be a cataclysmic team fight. Smite's going to come through. No contest. No fight for Dignitas. When does it happen? Looking back and forth for the poke. Neo taking a bit of a chunk there. Good job by the Corky. Here comes the first bit from Revenge. You mean to follow through as well. Windwall gonna block a lot of it. Here comes the cast. Oh! And the fight that Immortals picked, except they will all die. 0 4 in the team fight. Think the toss is record 0 4 no longer. That's they deal fatalities to Immortals as it's gonna be Ignar running for his life now. It's a dead cat floating right there. Ignar may try and run, but he cannot hide. River's on him, and he's not letting go. And that's going to be Baron assaulted. That's never going to be a chance. The Bud Light Ace comes through, and this is going to be Baron as well. No contest. Digitas look to end the week finally on the scoreboard. Yeah, man, that patience from River the whole time. Just sitting there in Gragas. Yeah, yeah, nice poke. I see, I see. And then strikes as Immortals dare to step up. Even at the beginning, River was on vision, and he's just kind of waiting around. Uh, Immortals here, they want to use the package. I'm pretty sure that's why they force it here, because maybe they're saying the cooldown of the timer. Right there. Look, they're going up. Hit it. Yeah. yeah they've got the Yumi uh, going through. Wind wall. And uh, boom. Doesn't get anything out oh, of it. Did it time out? Yeah. Right as he went in, it was a regular Valkyrie. Right as he went in, it was a regular Valkyrie. I'm and so then disappointed. River flashes over the wall, throws the ulti here, and it's a complete... Egg on your face for Immortals. Dignitas are just running it. Even when Dignitas, even when Immortals try to fight, like, every choice has been wrong, and I feel so bad about it, but, like... I you, don't. You, I don't because I want any team... You want team, that to fail? Yeah, I want this to fail. I want Good. any team picking, you know, all scaling, yeah. losing lanes to get it. Every choice to fight has been wrong, or, like, mechanically blundered by hitting W too late and your, your ult time's out. Like, it's... Ah, it's, yeah, I mean, huge mistakes here for the Immortal Squad. They've, they've made nothing but bad choices, maybe even from Champ Select itself, with zero winning lanes, seeding the entire Rift, and it just blooms towards Dignitas here. You got a Drake Steel, congratulations, but now a 10,000 gold lead before 24 minutes. Dignitas are going to put in a lot of pressure here, wearing that Baron buff. 2700 gold on the Red Bull Baron power play, and looking now at Inhibitor itself, and honestly, with about one item per champion, Immortal's unlikely to fight for it. River coming over. Big burp in the sidelines. 
doesn't give away his position. Ulti on top is only going to be a tiny bit of damage that immediately gets healed up by Yumi. Woo! All right, well, keeps that one alive, but the turret, of course, already doing a lot of work. The mid-tier two dropped from Gansu's split push. And they're still going to try on the bottom side. Neo actually going to be the best turret siege on the team. Everyone else tends to be melee, only sometimes for Nar. Ben Ooh, that's actually a decent rocket there. But healed partially back up by the Senna now. And they hold the line. The wave are not too bad for mortals. And even with a Baron, are able to keep their inhibitor turret alive. Yep, I mean, that. this is the this is where the bar has been moved to for our mortals. It's just, all right, now we need another 10 minutes of just defense uh, constantly at our towers. Well, a couple more items here. Um, Quirky very far from getting the Ravenous, though, so it will be a while. And Dig so happy with the pace. 11,000 gold lead, and they're not done yet. Another turret freak. At another 1,000. Yes, indeed. Nice. The done plus 800. Thank you, 11.9. As 11 CS per minute. Also, by the way, the score for blue still holding up to a very nice mark. Not far behind is Power of Evil. Just over 10. Dirt certainly has farm up. But, of course, a bunch of goose eggs here on the scoreboard. I want to point out, Immortals started their season getting perfect game. One dragon. All that separates them right now. We are getting another look at that timeout. Let's see. Valkyrie is on. Where does it go? Poof. He's going for the W. He yep. Oh, no. It's Wait, it's not even It's instant. like a full it's been second. Gone. Yeah, it's been gone, bro. Like, oh, shit. Ig Ignar hit the button. Pee-wee's like, we can wait longer. We can wait longer. Oh, I just face planted. Uh, it's a mistake. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get off it for now because there's plenty of other mistakes in this game, but... Dude, that, that, that actually is some good TikTok material. We can make a clip out of that. Ooh, okay. There's, 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 got, there's definitely something there. Every second counts, freak. Every e that's a sponsored yeah. Segment. Every four seconds counts at this point, but <laughs> yeah. that's okay. <laughs> Twenty seconds of next dragon. At this point, immortals maybe have learned the lesson. Uh, maybe don't fight for dragon when your comp isn't ready yet. Unfortunately, they've given away so much gold, their comp will never be ready, unless we go 93 minutes of the dream. See, never say never, freak. Never say never. Will this game go 93 minutes, Kobe? Over, under. No, but do you remember? Never mind. I do. Let's go with the dragon pick up here for Dignitas. They're going to get it. River puts down the cask. Gets a bit of damage to him. Ooh, we got the Tom Kent chubby cup from underneath as well. Barrow going to explode. Bounty available for Immortals, but they will not claim it. Dignitas, find the third dragon. Dragon soul point, baby. Let's get it. Dignitas, the Punishers. They're going to recall. Buy their items. Get right back onto the mini map here. Let's see. That is a three item power spike also with a stopwatch. That's a play waiting to be made, Freak. The safety here on yep. blue with the stopwatch. The setup from Riv. <sighs> Beautiful. Baron. He's One in his lane. Look at that. Go. He's looking mid to Ezreal Yumi in sight. He's got Predator prop. Can't find the engage just yet. They go back over the wall. The Mortals go scurrying back inside their defenses. Revenge spots Gamsu. They trade intense glances back and forth in the side. Today is not the day we fight. <laughs> Soon, though. Soon, though. We will Soon have our honorable fight. duel. We spent 20 minutes trading minions back and forth in toppling. Soon, we will trade ultimates inside your base. The ward is slain. Neo, 30 gold richer, puts his own ward down over the wall. What has been slain will be reborn. Did you see the, the newest Matrix? Uh, uh, I did, the on the plane. What, well, what's your what's your evaluation for eh? the score? Yeah, that, that's what I felt like. The first part of it was pretty good. I thought they were going pretty well, and then the yeah. second half of the movie was actually just terrible. Yeah, it's, it's not even like this game. It was just like this whole one <laughs> was, was terrible. And all oh, the this no. was, was pretty point oh, from no. Immortals. <laughs> zero, zero, zero towers taken for Immortals. Zero kills. They did get one dragon. Though. Yep. Yep, they, they paid for that Drake with a Baron and five kills, but they did not get perfect games, okay? Let no it one perfect games, Immortals, twice in the same split yet. All right, well, the Baron buff. Can they even get some Miracle Steel? Uh, Lost has his ulti. Oh, that's uh, kind of early. I think he's blind, but uh, no chance. going to miss steal. it, but the teleport's coming oh, in. Immortals go, baby. trying to find their way to get a Baron Steel. Revenge is here. Orange does absolutely nothing, and he's going to get right back out. Baron claimed again by Dignitas, but Power of Evil has the package. Will he let it time out again? <laughs> Actually, biggest. Uh, okay, we got a snare under revenge. 
Blue walks back to safety. Low Minions on down mid flow. Three. Are they going to yes. go mid? River, Super. Neo, and the rest of the squad are ready to keep going down the mid lane. Blue Trinket spots what's going on. PoE rejoins the squad. I'm clicking on, on Corky for the package. All right. He's still got plenty of time. There's a quarter of the time left on package still. Baron Buff Warren will time out exactly when the final dragon of the game spawns. If it even goes that long, we're going to find the first root. Revenge going to jump away, stay safe. Pack is still available. River on the side. Oh, it's about the to timeout. It's We've literally going to time out. Go. Here's the explosive cast, the damage. He got it all. Package to safety. PoE finds W on his keyboard, but Immortals will not find a W in this game. Still killless in this battle as it's a push down the mid lane. True shot barrage hits some minions, but it will be those minions pushing down the mid lane as well. The turret shall fall. Will Immortals find something to do, or will it be dignity? who are immortal in this game as the bot lane waves coming in as well and a safety gate used to come out hextech here utilized to its fullest <laughs> to reposition to the outside of the tower now oh, the rest of dig coming to finish what they started free missing the knock up is bio frost can be nearly drops hunter health left on a him Despite the root from Senna, a little bit too angsty, a little bit too far forward. But now the engage comes in, the flash forward lost, nearly drops. There's the hops. Will it be one? Nothing picked up yet, but the turret could help. Comes to his low, transforms back out. A two for nothing, and Dignitas now go for the Nexus turret. Serena will dodge, will be not quite the knockup. Final turret alive. Is it going to be enough now? Is the Meganarian getting to the wall? And it's going to be this poor Orin left alone, tanky, but not a lot more he can do. How far is get low? He's going to burn the stopwatch. Wind wall in the way, gets off to the side. Nexus under fire. Fire. A single dragon separates the mortal from their second perfect game loss. Biofrost, 200 wins in the LCS. That was certainly a game of League of Legends that it we was. watched. We watched that game. I, I want that on my t-shirt. <laughs> Dignitas on the board, baby. They just got over a 15,000 gold lead for their first win of the summer split of the LCS. Yep. Let it be known, three losing lanes. Still not a good League of Legends competition. Composition even, but Dignitas. Or competition. They, honestly, yeah, they weren't much of one. Uh, but Dignitas came here with a win. They played aggressively. They kept the tempo going the whole time. They set up for every objective. They at least contested all of them, but yep, three and three and one on dragons, uh, double baron, double herald, <laughs> one turret pushes. Like Dignitas had the better early game, and they kept pushing the better early game. All the durability in the world isn't going to save you from that. They only made champions more durable, not turrets, Scoby. Yep. Objectives otherwise all die at the same rate. So Dignitas just took every single one of them. That's going to do it for us for week two of the LCS. Yep. Thoroughly enjoyed this one. Uh, Great week. A lot of really cool results. Actually crazy, too, to think about still. Even though we just cast the game, EG and CLG tied up there at the top uh, as well. Yeah. With, um, I believe one other team had one loss, right? Uh, I think 100 Thieves? No, I think they're up Two? They've got two? Okay, yeah. it's this them, baby. Uh, I mean, C9 got their 2-0 this time with the uh, other roster having the subs in. It was, you know, not the best look. So oh, Team Liquid. They had the 0 3 start. Yeah, Team Liquid's still pretty incredible. Of course, their one loss is to TSM, uh, pretty surprisingly. So EG's one loss is to uh, CLG, TL's one loss is to TSM, and CLG's one loss is to FlyQuest. So it's, you know, like, it is really interesting seeing, like, how many of these teams can can punch up to the really, really strong ones, because, you know, TSM and FlyQuest sitting kind of around the middle, but, right, they've taken down otherwise undefeated teams. So mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited for what the rest of the split looks like, because we do have some teams who are punching very high. Yeah, def definitely uh, some fun stuff so far. Let's get... Over to the other interview. What do we got? Uh, Belated <laughs> Father's Day celebration.